Hello everyone, my name is Lars Christensen and I am super excited showing you today's Fusion 360 CAM quick tip. When selecting geometry to machine within Fusion, you quickly notice that the developers might actually have put some user consideration into this tool. Let's select a 2D adapted toolpath and go over some quick selecting tips. First, it is one of my favorites that we are selecting on the same geometry as the designer created. And if we just select the bottom of this face, the toolpath would automatically know that this is a pocket operation. Now, this might not be that impressive, but if we go back into the operation and see what happens if we select the face on an open pocket, you will see that the algorithm is smart enough to detect that the cutter has to start from the outside and machine towards the vertical walls. Now, you might notice that we have a couple of collisions showing down in the simulation bar. That is because of the stock specified for this job. And of course, in real life, there's always stock to deal with. Check this out. If we select an edge instead of a face, the algorithm will now take the stock into account. Let's select the bottom edge and you can see the blue shadow of our stock. The algorithm is now taking this into account for our cutter path. Now this of course also works on our three open pocket edges and pay attention to how the software is readjusting the stock calculation as I pick the three edges on this top shelf. One 2D adaptive toolpath, seven edges selected, and this part is pretty much roughed out. I think that is pretty cool. The last tip I want to show you is some single edge selection. I want to chamfer a single edge, but when selecting the edge, the whole chain is being selected. The simple trick is to go back and reselect the edge. Now we have the option to select an open contour. This is a great tip. Select an edge and by just reselecting it, you can now narrow down the edge you want to machine. I hope you found this helpful. As always, keep making cool parts and have an awesome day.